Hello and welcome to Java for Tester tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Java if else statement. Now, if else statements are important whenever you are trying to execute certain uh, section of the code, which is basically, you know, depends on a certain condition. If the condition is true, then execute that particular piece of code. Otherwise, uh, you know, go move to the else block which is nothing different than you know the actual scenario so for example if it is morning then you know get up from bed um else keep sleeping something like that right so if else you know in in you know normal scenarios whatever you uh, you know have the conditions uh, in in the actual day to day life uh, you make the decision based on if else similar is what you can do in your java program so if this number is greater greater than the another number print something if not or uh, you know if that's not true then print something else so that's what we are going to learn so we'll learn the syntax and how you can implement if else in java so let me create a class if else demo and include the main method and i'll quickly show you what is the syntax of if else so we have already seen you know uh, if we open this operators in Java here, I have, you know, briefly used the if statement, right? So this is basically the condition. So if it evaluates to true, then it comes within this particular block of code and executes that. Otherwise, it goes to the else block and prints that, right? So that's the basic syntax. So if I talk about the syntax of if else, it is pretty simple. So it is simply you just use the keyword if and then within the brackets it is the expression okay so you provide the expression so here you know it, it can be any expression so if number one is equal to number two so we'll understand that so but the syntax wise it is if expression then you know it ex execute the code within these two you know um curly braces so that's what the you know statement looks like the conditional statement looks like so uh, now for example if i want to provide you know the expression so what i'll define two integers so for example num one and provide the value as 10 to num one and then for another num two and provide the value as 20 right now when we say expression so what i want to you know test here say for example i want to check whether these two numbers are equal greater than or less than so what i'll do is i'll say if num1 if i want to check whether number one is greater than number two so i'll use the greater than operator and i'll say if num1 is greater than num2 then execute whatever is within these two curly braces okay so if there are statements within these two curly braces it will execute those those statements so i'll say i'll use just a simple print statement there and i'll say num number one is greater than number two okay so this statement will get printed if this condition is you know uh, evaluated as true okay so let me format it so Control shift f will format the code and uh, if i run this it won't display anything because this condition evaluated to false and there so it didn't go through within this block and didn't print it right now you can use if with else so if this particular condition is true execute this otherwise else so i can say else execute something else right so i can use another statement and i'll say numbers are or number one is not greater than number two okay so this time because i provided the else statement so once the, this condition is evaluated to false because number one is not greater than number two, 10 is not greater than 20. So this will evaluate to false, which means this code block will not get executed. It will come to else and will execute this particular block of code. So if I run as Java application, you will see number one is not greater than number two has been printed, right? 
So that's how you will use the if else statement. Um, down now the next uh, thing is basically to uh, understand if else if. So you can have you know multiple else if statements. So um, for example, I can use uh, say I have this first condition that needs to be evaluated, and then if this is not true, then evaluate another condition. So I can simply use if and then else if and I can have another condition here within these brackets so I can say else if if I want to uh, you know evaluate say num1 is equal to num2 now what I'm evaluating or what what I'm you know trying to check here is if number one is equal to number two then if this condition gets true then execute this right so I'll say number one is is equal to number two okay so in this case if this condition is evaluated to true it will come inside this block execute this otherwise it will come to else if block right with the else i have used if again to evaluate another condition now if this condition evaluates to true then it will come inside this block and execute this particular block okay and I can have multiple else ifs. Okay, so I can again use else if and I can say num1 is less than num2 and with this condition I can say another statement or multiple statements within this particular you know block then number one is less than number two all right and then finally if i want to you know i can add the last else statements if none of these conditions are true then finally if you include else block it will come to this else block and execute whatever statements have been added here so here um, i can say in the final else block right so if you look closely there is a condition here if that condition evaluates to true this block gets executed if not it comes to the else if block or else if you know um, block here and it will again evaluate the another condition based on this condition whether it evaluates to true or false if it is true it will get inside this block if not it will move further again evaluate the condition and if this condition evaluates to true it will come to this block if not go further and finally execute the else statement because there is no other condition to evaluate so it will finally execute the else block for sure okay so let me run this and show you and you can see number one is less than number two right so number one is 10 and number two is 20 so this is the condition that got you know um, evaluated to true in this case and it has printed number one is less than number two right so that's the basic you know syntax of if else in java and how you can use if else statements um, similarly if you want to have nested if else right so for example you want to have um, you know if uh, condition and then within the if condition you want to have another you know if um, if an else condition you can also have you know that so how you will achieve that in that particular case if for example uh, this is the condition and within this particular you know if condition um, if this condition evaluates to true i can add another you know if condition so if then i can say let me define another integer i'll say num3 is equal to 30 okay i have assigned uh, the 30 number 30 to num3 variable and then if this condition num1 is greater than number 2 then it will come inside and then within this it will print this statement and then i want to evaluate more one more condition or you know nested if else so i'll say if num2 I can have another condition there if num2 is greater than num3 then execute something so I'll say 
within nested if else okay and else execute something else right so here in the nested else block all right so in this case this is basically you know like uh, the nested if else and how this you know works is uh, basically it will evaluate this particular condition first the first uh, if condition if that gets evaluated true then it comes to this block okay and within this particular block you can have multiple if else if else if uh, so whatever we have explained here you can have those conditions there as well so let me make this you know value as 40 so that it enters this particular you know block here so num1 is greater than number 2 which is uh, true so it will print this statement and then it will verify number 2 is greater than number 3 right so which is not correct in this case let me change it to um, less than so that it comes to this else block or if block and prints this statement so it will print this statement in this case and then it will print within nested if else okay so let me execute this and so you can see number one is greater than number two right so this condition got evaluated to true because number one is 40 which is greater than number two so this got evaluated to true it came inside this particular block okay and it printed this first statement then within this block there is another if right so which is nested if else within this particular if block then it checked for number two whether number two is less than number through three right so number two is 20 number three is 30 which is correct and it came to this if block again and printed within nested if else now because this condition evaluated true it will execute this and won't execute anything else so it won't go to the else block if the condition has been evaluated to true it will execute that block and come out of the loop and that is why you have seen within nested if else has been printed and the program got terminated so it because this condition got evaluated um, and you know within that the execution or this particular condition got evaluated only this block got executed and didn't go through to check for any other conditions that have been specified which is basically else if uh, and else conditions within this particular you know program so that's briefly about what is if else in java and how you can implement if else uh, or if else if uh, nested if else statements in java these are really helpful very easy to understand so if you just practice a couple of times using these uh, if else statements you will be really comfortable in using this and this is very core concept that you will be utilizing a lot in the selenium automation so please go through this uh, tutorial uh, you know a couple of times and practice as much as you can with different you know examples to um, see the different you know um, structures and how you can use if if else uh, and nested if else statements in java so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching